Hong Kong can be a dangerous place if you are not careful. This rescue team has been trained to handle a growing problem in the city's surrounding area, hiking accidents. The number has risen dramatically over the last few years, from 215 recorded incidents in 2019 to 1,014 in 2022 and 695 in 2023. But why now? During the COVID-19 pandemic, when Hong Kong's borders were shut and travel was limited, the city's residents eased their cabin fever by taking to popular trails around the city. Lion Rock, Suicide Cliff, Dog Teeth Range, Sharp Peak are all famous spots for adventurers. Social media influencers have scaled mountains to capture the most scenic, difficult to reach spots on the trail, posting on platforms like Instagram, Facebook, and Xiaohong Shu. But the need to wow their followers has sometimes turned fatal. In January 2024, two siblings fell and drowned in Tai Tao Chao while looking for a photo spot they saw on Xiaohong Shu. With accidents on the rise, Hong Kong's rescue teams have been particularly active. We also noticed that the influence uh, from social media because uh, people will um, see some nice view from uh, either Facebook or YouTube and they decided, that, oh, that's a very nice place. I, I want to have a, a selfie or have a picture. And then without uh, looking further into what is required for them to hike up to that position and they just go ahead and often find themselves stranded or have difficulty and need to uh, call for help. Online influencers have started detailing how to reach photo spots, attracting more people, but also more accidents. From our experience, we'll see that more and more people are hiking because of they saw something beautiful. We see less and less of um, well-prepared uh, adventure. Um, more often they will just, um, well, uh, as an ad hoc, uh, or uh, yeah, they just made up their mind and just go. How are stranded hikers rescued from difficult terrain? So for, for speed up the, the searching, uh, we have uh, utilized dogs, search dogs. So basically they are, they're, they're trained to be uh, acute to people's uh, sense. And they can also uh, distinguish whether that uh, person is in distress or is just a normal person. Okay, so um, um, the dogs, since they have an acute sense of smell, they can cover a dense area much quicker than human. Again. So uh, if we need to search an area, we can deploy a search dog to do that task for us. <laughs> and we also have drones. Drones can um, perform multiple tasks in the air. Um, they can search for people by taking um, pictures or videos. They can also take infrared um, photos. So during the night, um, the body, if the, there's a temperature difference between the, your body heat and the environment, the drones can pick up through the infrared pictures. And we also um, can use uh, drones to do mapping. For example, this uh, dense area, um, maybe I need to put more um, crews there for a thorough search. And these are more open area, maybe I can use drone or um, other methods to do the search. I think your life trumps a uh, good picture. <laughs> it's not worth it to, to just um, risk your life to just for one, uh, one good picture. Or, I'm not saying that you cannot do that, but do your uh, research, prepare yourself, and then go and enjoy a fruitful day. And you can come back with a nice picture. <laughs> Adequate preparation beforehand and taking precautions while outdoors are key to avoid becoming the next in need of rescuing. That's according to jockey-turned-professional hiker Joe Lauder. What do we need when we go uh, hiking? What's the most important thing? Well, number one, obviously taking your phone. 
not only for those beautiful pictures, but also in case you get lost and you're looking for a, a route. Uh, something that I always make sure I've got is uh, some uh, tissues, just in case you get caught short. Obviously water, plenty of water. I always have uh, a number of bottles, and if I know the trail's gonna be a long distance, I add more. I always carry bananas with me, because in case you get hungry, maybe a bar, and then very important, is are the shoes and you can see the grip and the quality of those. These are topo shoes, but there are many different types that you can get. Uh, these, these are particularly good for gripping. Shoes are particularly important, he said, especially on rocky or slippery trails where it is easy to trip and fall. Proper shoes are also crucial for an off-trail adventure known as bushwhacking. I'm going to follow him up. <laughs> if you do decide to go bushwhacking, as we call it, in this case it's not too bad, the path is here. So you've just got to be wary. Uh, sometimes these paths have little signs, they have little, uh, so you know that you're on track if you're following this. And you've just got to be careful, just keep your eyes on the floor. The other thing is you have to be careful of is you're in the wildlife and there's uh, things like snakes around and so you've just got to keep your eyes open and make sure that you uh, uh, don't tread on anything like that and that's uh, quite important. Lauder says listen to your instincts. If it looks too difficult to reach, it probably is. Life is more precious than likes.